All right, so let's look at setting bookmarks in audio files. Let's go ahead and come to our blank PowerPoint slide. We have an audio file on here. and I'm going to click on that, and then when I go to playback, I can um, add bookmarks. So what I can do is I can listen to my audio, and then there might be a point in here, let's, let's say at the one minute mark, I can pause it, go to add bookmark, and that'll add a bookmark there. And then I can you know, click in different parts and add another bookmark. If I want to remove the bookmark, I just select it and click on the Remove button. Now the reason bookmarks come in handy is, let's say I have an object here. We're going to insert a square, and then I want to animate the square, so we'll just add a fly-in animation. I can set this animation to trigger on the bookmark, and so when it gets to that point in the audio file, uh, the animation uh, will play uh, based on the bookmark that I have set in the audio file. So bookmarks really come in handy that way.